Asians greatly progressed despite the imperialism of the different Western countries. They contributed a lot to the world's civilization through their rich culture. Humanities, literature, and sports are just some of the aspects where they gave a big impact in. Asians excel in different fields such as theater, writing, and sports. As Asians, we should be proud to be one. Let's take a deeper look at what Asians can really do. World's earliest civilization is in the region of Sumer in Mesopotamia. Sumerian built ziggurats, the home of their Gorod goddesses. It is also where the Sumerian life revolved. Sumerians invented a cuneiform or wedge-shaped system of writing, the first in the world. They made use of a stylus made of reed that was able to write on clay tablets. A selected group of boys from rich and influential families can learn this in a school called Eduba. Henry Rawlinson discovered Behistun rock which was used to understand the Mesopotamian system of writing. This made way to development of the modern writing system. Wheel revolutionized transportation. Sales as transportation in water and the plow used for farming was invented by the Mesopotamians as well. Water clock, 12-month calendar, principle and geometry, sigismal system or counting by 60s, astrology, 12 zodiac signs and the world's first map are other examples of the inventions of Mesopotamians. The earliest literary work is the Epic of Gilgamesh. It is about a man and his great deeds and search for immorality. Sargon I established the Akkadian Empire, the world's first empire after conquering Mesopotamian lands. Another person worth noting is Hammurabi of the Babylonians who reigned for 42 years. He made the laws of the Hammurabi which was important to Mesopotamians. After the decline of Mesopotamia were other civil groups who made contributions. For example, the use of iron. The Lydians and the Phoenicians with a new system of writing known as phonetic alphabet. The first Chinese civilization in the Wangho, or also called Yellow River, began in Xia Dynasty. They called their land as Chonggu or Middle Kingdom. Chinese scholars expound on fundamental philosophies and concepts that lasted until today. Some of the many dynasties in China is Xiang, which introduced the bronze in metallurgy. Qin Dynasty, which is responsible for the construction of Great Wall of China and Tang Dynasty, which made the Chinese literature popular. In the Heian period in Japan, literature emerged. Popular tales like the tale of Genji and Makura no Soshi are some of them. On the other hand, haikus and theatrical plays called No and Kabuki were made known in the Tokugawa period in Japan. The Indus River Valley, which is located in South Asia, is one of the earliest civilizations in Asia. Mohenjo-daro in Sindh and Harappa in Punjab are two cities where remains were found by archaeologists in 1920. The Aryans dominated and ushered the Vedic Age. Vedas, which was their sacred book, was all about the Aryan supremacy. The Mahabharata and Ramayana were considered as the world's greatest philosophical poems. There are many contributions that Asia had to offer. Three of the most important are contributions in humanities, literature, and sports. Indians are famous for their unique classic style of singing and dancing. In the field of performing arts, they have Bollywood films, which were derived from Hollywood in the United States. Until today, Kabuki and No are still popular in Japan. For Southeast Asia, specifically Indonesia, are famous for their cultural dance called Wayang Kuli, which involves shadow puppets. 
In the field of literature, Asians prove that they are capable of creating some of the best novels in the world. In China, Journey to the West and A Dream of a Red Chamber are some of the popular tales. Three of the present-day writers in China are Lao Xie, Liu Xun, and Gao Xingjian, who was the first Chinese to receive a Nobel Prize for Literature in 2000. On the other hand, Kawabata Yasunari is the first for Japan winning it in 1968. The best contribution that the Japanese had was the haiku, which is a short poem which follows the 575 syllable pattern. Matsuo Basho is one of the greatest writers ever known. Shimuel Yosef Agnon in Israel won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1966. Some of the novels he wrote were about the problems of the Jews during their early days in Israel. In the field of sports, Asians have what it takes to be great competitors for the world to see because of the many brilliant athletes that Asia has. For basketball, Yu Ming and Wang Zizi, both Chinese, played for the NBA. For boxing, the Korean hawk Jung Kyo Chang. For the Philippines, Anyok Velasco, who won silver in the 1996 Olympics, and the pound for pound king and one of the greatest fighters of the world, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. In the field of other sports, Asia has Viswanathan Anand, Susanto Megaranto, Eugene Torre, Lidia de Vega, Rafael Paeng Nepomuceno, Efren Bata Reyes, who all excelled in their own fields.